What do zinc, grapefruits, and pennies have in common? Washington and Lee University chemistry students use all three to study electrochemistry, or in plain English, the stuff that goes on inside a battery. The experiment has three parts. First, freshman Jennifer Heibig says wires and two chemical solutions make electricity. Um, the zinc goes inside the zinc solution and the copper goes inside the copper solution and that like forces a transfer of electrons between the two separately, like through, this, through the wires and that creates a flow of electrons. It's basically a reaction over a wire and that generates, like it's an electron transfer reaction and that generates electricity. And all that is is just electrons transferring from one thing to a next which creates an electronic current. Students use a grapefruit as a battery in the second part of the experiment. Sophomore Garrett Muckleroy says the grapefruit's acidity creates an electric current. The grapefruit, we just made a voltage in one acidic solution and that's, that's what allowed us to transfer the two ends and you saw like the negative and positive voltage going from those. Students turn pennies into gold in part three of the experiment. Well, almost. And then after that we went to um, like, oh, like metal plating and we turned a penny into what you see as a gold penny by taking zinc powder and like heating it with sodium hydroxide it created a thing called zincate which we were then able to bond to a penny and when that came out it looked just silver so we washed all the excess zinc off and then with enough heat zinc and copper when you like heat them together, they create an alloy that is brass, and that is what I found to the penny and made it look gold. Students aren't the only ones making magic in lab. Professor Andrea Avery and lab technician Philip Trimmer try to create a mini explosion. And so there's a little so we had a test tube full of hydrogen gas, and by lighting it with butane, it was supposed to uh, ignite, and so the top is the hydrogen gas igniting. So it did ignite. It did ignite. There's a little right there. there. Was it exciting? It was thrilling. I'm not gonna lie. It's chemistry in real life. For the reader, I'm Betsy Cribb.